Hey guys, how's it going? It's Johnson from JS Studios Pro here, and I'm going to bring you a little tutorial on how to record your gameplay and audio like a professional YouTuber that has like 3 million subscribers and makes crystal clear 1080 videos, 1080p videos, and gets like tons of views. You can make videos exactly like them if you just follow the step by step tutorial. Okay? The program we are going to be using is DXTory. I prefer this um, program more than Fraps because you get better frames per second when you're recording and you get better quality in my opinion. So what you want to do is just open up your broadcasting software and go here. Eccode.com slash DXTory downloads and uh, HTML. Okay. This will be in the link in the description so you don't have to type this all out. Or in Google you can just type DXTory and this should pop up, okay? So it will say download. Well, first it will be on this page, okay? And then you just want to swing over to downloads, okay? This loads, okay then you want to click download I'm not going to do it right now you can do the latest one or the stable version doesn't really matter just do stable because you know it will work 100 percent and click download I'm not going to do it right now because I already have it downloaded but then it will ask you to install and just install it and then it will bring you this icon when you click on the icon it will say run license purchase and if you have already bought a license which will cost about $35 for the software you can run that if not there is like a 10 minute trial thing you can just do over and over if you just want to do that to record 10 minute videos you can but I do think it leaves a watermark but you guys can torrent this if you want to I don't recommend it because it's illegal and these guys worked really hard to get you the best software there is so I think they deserve every penny for it in my opinion but it's whatever you guys want to do so first you download it then if you just want to buy it you go to buy and you put in your PayPal information or your credit card or whatever just like you normally do when you buy things off the internet and the price says it's like 3600 JPY that is Japanese currency I think it stands for Japanese yen or something like that but that's equal to $35 and like 13 cents but you guys can just check it in a currency um, checker if you want to on Google or something, just to be sure. And then, once you got it all installed and your um, thing purchased, or if you're just doing the trial, just click on DX Story to boot it up, okay? Um, and this will say default. Okay, so it should be on this or here to start I think it will be on here so what you want to do first you can edit the colors of like your non recording status color and your recording status color the default will be green and yellow I just changed that to red so it will be more distinctive and also it will show your FPS in the top corner and that will turn to the color of what your recording state as corresponding to the colors you have selected here so when you have this finished go over to um, the one with the camcorder okay guys and then first of all you just want the general DX Tory video codec okay just a second I gotta close my door I'll be right back Okay, sorry about that guys, the TV was kind of loud in the other room. Um, and then you just come over here and click this, I think it's a pen, I'm not sure. And just click that and there will be four options here. You want to select medium quality, because first of all low quality, that's about the quality of fraps. And... Um, that still records HD but this is just better and then true high and medium quality 
they are all the same. YouTube treats them the same. If it's on true quality, it'll just render it down to medium quality. So it's just a waste of your memory and computing process speed. So you just want to click it to medium. And just press OK. And then you just want to come over here and it should be at 30 frames per second. If not, change it to that because the human eye can't distinct from 30 to 60 and YouTube uh, treats 60 as 30 so it'll just be it'll just lower your frames per second in game too so it's just kind of a waste then you go down to output the file it should be file output or direct show output that's if you want to live stream but I'll make a separate video for that later okay your file format should be AVI you can use raw cap, but I don't recommend it because for editing software to recognize the video file, it has to be in AVR or something. It shouldn't be in raw cap. So you, if you record in raw cap, you'll just have to change it to AVI anyway, which just requires more work. So just kind of a waste, actually. So you come down to your option, and I like including my mouse cursor, but that's up to you guys. And then the scaling should be at percent and you want to click 100 if it's not already okay guys then when you're done with that go over to this folder setting okay and then you will want to run a benchmark test this will see what quality you will be able to record your videos at so you just want to click run it'll be kinda low for mine because I'm also recording this as we speak so okay but it'll take a few seconds or minutes but when you're done with that we can just stop this cuz I don't really need it um cuz I already done it it's right here if it's between 40 and 100 you will want to be able to run not run record at 720p okay which is still crystal clear HD and everything if you um, if it's below 40 megabytes per second um, I don't really recommend recording at HD you can if you want but uh, you'll get lag in your games and stuff and I don't recommend it so if you want to record HD just save up for the next processor uh, just like a better processor and stuff and you can just um, update your computer and graphics cards and stuff if you want to or you guys can just get a new computer too my computer specs are in the description below if you just want to check them out but if it's over 100 megabytes per second you are perfectly fine to stream at ten, not stream record at 1080p okay so what you want to do after you've done your benchmark test go back to your um, movie settings and then come down to where it says scaling but now you want to click size okay if it's between 40 and 100 megabytes per second on your benchmark test you want to change it to 1280 by 720 and then if it's above 100 change it to 1920 by 1080 okay then once you're done with that come down to this yellow and black box and then once it pops up the preset will be at like 640 by 480 and then just um, do the same width and same height as you have down here keep this at 30 frames per second and stretch adjust mode and press OK sorry about that guys um, and then you don't have to worry about these things then come over to audio okay and if you want to record your microphone audio as well as your gameplay audio what you want to do is press this little plus and then it will add another one like of it will add a number two I already have mine so once you get your brand new like um, audio device you want to find 
your microphone in the device list, okay? So, when you're done with that, just switch back to speakers real quick and make sure it's on PCM and then find um 192,000 hertz 32 bit stereo and select that. Then come back to your microphone and set this to the exact same thing you have on speakers, which is 192,000 hertz 32 bit stereo, okay? Then when you're done with that, you can just come over here where is it? Right here, the keyboard, and select your start slash stop movie capture. I have mine on P because I think that's just a lot easier for me. And then when you want to record a game, you just pull up your game. It should um, show the frame rate audio, uh, audio, the frame rate picture thing of what frames per second you're getting, and it should be green or whatever color you have on the non-recording sass color and then when you just want to start recording just press your start um, movie capture hotkey and then you should be recording yeah but this doesn't work for call of duty ghosts right here okay that's the only game i found that doesn't work with and fraps doesn't work with it either it's not dx story it's call of duty but that's just <coughs> call of duty so hopefully this tutorial helped you if it did, please leave a like rating, and if you think other people will, in, uh, <coughs> sorry, if you think any of your friends will enjoy this, or this will help any of your friends, share it, Facebook, Twitter, all that, and if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below, if I missed anything, and subscribe to see some Battlefield, Call of Duty, um, Minecraft, all sorts of games on my channel. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hopefully this helped. I'll see you next time. Bye.